In this quick blender tutorial I will show you how to animate colour changes. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Ok, well I'm actually going to try and change or show you how to change an area of an object um, rather than just the whole object because it's, it's a bit of a it's a lot easier to do a, a whole area than just say a selected region so um, and I'll also go into uh, some basic uh, uses for the graphics editor or the graph editor as well show you how to change the weight some basic animation changes so the first thing I think I'll do is I'll just um, right click here and uh, select shade smooth and Z will give me the options of changing the view so I don't know let's go for a material preview so if you want to change a region of an object or selected area of an object you first need to color the whole thing now you can do this in edit mode or you can do this in object mode so let's go for object mode to first of all color the whole thing so down here you've got a lot of little tabs one of them will be a world and it'll say materials properties select this then select new and I'm going to just select the white base color and crack this all the way up to the top so it's pure white um, and maybe I'll change I don't know let's make this quite reflective by dragging the roughness down to zero so that's giving me a sort of reflective white color so if I want to change the uh, an area on on any object I need to go over to edit mode and so I'll just hit tab to do this and that'll take me to edit mode and what I tend to do now with the later versions of Blender if I want to select front and back of an area around the sides I toggle use this toggle x-ray tab up here so I'll select this one here and what that will mean now is if I hold my left mouse button down I can draw a box over the top and what that should do is select the whole lot at the top so let's do some color change animations make sure you're at frame one um, or as you until you get a bit more used to using this anyways um, always start from frame one if you can and in the materials properties um, tab again select the plus sign make sure you do this also select new and select a sign now you should see a change um, or at least on this one you should see a change because that's gone back to the sort of default white color so if you want say if like with this one if I wanted to start white I would need to copy the same sort of settings as I had for the bottom or for the whole thing originally so in this instance I've kept it simple I'm going to just select roughness here so that it's down to zero and again make sure the white is dragged to the top so the top and the bottom should match so that's fine now in the properties tab in fact in lots of different parts of blender you'll see little buttons now these were although I think they call them something different in blender yeah, it says animate property it's basically it's a keyframe so it sets keys to where things change so if I want to keep this frame one and I want this to stay at white at frame one I can select this little button here and it'll put a yellow dot just on if I drag this up a bit should see a little yellow dot now if I come over to frame 50 I can select the color again and I don't know drag this up to blue and it'll change the color here but make sure that you select this 
animate properties tab here or button here so that you've got a little yellow dot I'm going to come over to frame 100 and again I'll change the color to I don't know let's whack over to yellow and again select this button here I'll quickly go through and do a few more color changes um, let's go up to green that should work um, green down to I don't know let's go red and go to the end and I'm going to just drag this down so it's actually black and again a keyframe go back to the beginning and I'll press tab to go into object mode and let's press play and as you can see we got some color changes but the only trouble with those which this might be what you're looking for but they then tend to ease out and in so you get a kind of a gradual change rather than a straight color change so there's a few ways you can get into graph editor out of habit I tend to just drag this up here and then next to this little clock here or select this little clock here and say editor type and you've got something called graph editor now you can press play and stop by using um, your space bar So clearly you can see you can see where this all goes like this so to change the animation a couple of changes very brief ones I'm not going to go into great detail you've got something called key and then you got something called interpolation so if I select say linear it will change the way the animation works if you it's difficult to see unless you actually can look at one side by side but it's rather than a sort of a curve you get these straight lines and the other one that can be handy to use though not going into great detail select key again interpolation mode if you select constant and then press play get this kind of effect and for this tutorial I'm going to leave it at that there are so many different things and settings that you can uh, do within the keyframe here it sometimes pays to do a screen grab so you can remember your settings if you change a color and you want some of these to be the same so I said earlier on you can animate anything that's got a dot next to it like this on this side you can animate it as long as you make sure that you before you start before you finish that you've got these yellow keyframes here and that's basically all there is to it I won't go to any more details it just get long-winded and probably boring so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers